Hello Virgos, this is your reading, <laughs> excuse me, mid-month reading, and this is for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. See what's going on with you guys for the remainder of the month. Please show me the energy that is around Virgos. What is the energy around Virgos currently? Please show me the energy around Virgos. And we have a King of Pentacles, feeling very strong, secure, and in control of things. I feel like um, there's a strong support system around you guys. There is a um, very masculine energy, I feel, that is coming through strongly here. <clears throat> Could be a Capricorn. Um, Virgo like yourselves. This could definitely be you or someone else, okay? What is crossing Virgos? A King of Cups. Huh. I'm feeling like there is a Scorpio energy. Um, water energy in general, but more so I'm feeling Scorpio energy. For some reason, Scorpio comes up for you guys a lot. Somebody that has that type of energy or has Scorpio in their chart even, okay? But I feel like <clears throat> you have a support system around you, but sometimes it's kind of fickle. I feel like this person it kind of blows hot and cold with you and... Um, you guys butt heads at times because both of you have like this masculine energy. Uh, the other person is way more emotional than you are, I feel. Uh, and sometimes they can uh, actually ignore you to get your attention because you don't just lose your shit. Okay, and I feel like they do this to kind of get you to lose your shit a little bit because you're like a little too stable. Your emotions are a little too stable for them. You know how sometimes people want you to um, act an ass just so they can see that you care? I mean, it's, I'm feeling something like that. Okay. <clears throat> what is the foundation for Virgo's reading? The foundation. That one is sticking out to me. A seven of wands. Uh, both of you are fighting um, to get your views across. It's like you're defending what you believe. You're defending um, everything about yourself. I feel like both of you are taking this stance and um, you're like butting heads here. Both of you are very, very, very strong is the thing. This Leo energy and you're not backing down. Somebody has to let go of some control, if not both of you, because both of you are like keeping that stance of not backing down. Okay, so that is an issue there. What's been going on in the recent cast for Virgos? Oh, okay. For some reason, I picked up that card that's still turned over, but we have the Wheel of Fortune here. And um, this is Sagittarius and Pisces energy, but there's definitely been um, some changes that have happened in the recent past. Uh, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is all about the things that are up, they come down, and the things that are down, they eventually come back up. Nothing's going to stay the same, okay? You're not going to be happy um, for ethics. You're not going to be sad forever, right? So there's definitely definitely been a shift here in the recent past. I do feel like, you know, whoever this person is, they are your partner. They are potentially your partner for life. Um, but you know, we we have the we have free will, right? So even though somebody may be intended to be our partner for life, doesn't mean it always happens that way. Okay, because the energy shifts and changes here. So definitely something has changed for you. Now, look at this. The Four of Wands, Aries, energy. There's something that has definitely shifted and changed in your relationship. Um, sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're not. I don't know if some of you are married 
to this person and um, you're separated or you are going through a separation or divorce but there's something that's happened in your relationship where there is some sort of disconnect between the two of you and I do see again that you guys are butting heads here because you're very strong you're like bulls right now okay could definitely be a Taurus energy here as well <clears throat> let's see what are Virgo's crowning thoughts Virgo's crowning thoughts the four of pentacles you're shutting down I see you shutting down here this Capricorn energy you're trying not to let the situation affect you <clears throat> What's coming in for Virgos? What's coming in for Virgos? Ooh, Ace of Wands. A new start. Hmm. A new interest. What is that interest for? Then we have a full energy, Aries energy. I feel like some of you guys are thinking about separating from somebody and completely starting over leaving and it could be both of you that are thinking about this if you guys are still together I feel like both of you are thinking about walking away from this relationship if you're separated from this person already I see this person really wanting to start over do something different do something new I actually see both of you wanting to do something different here bring back that um, loving feeling if you will <laughs> um, step outside of your comfort zone hmm. how is Aries Aries huh how is Virgo Viewing the situation. The star. Yeah, I definitely see that. You know, this is your soulmate. This is your person. And you feel that you're meant to be with them. You know? Very grounded. But I feel like you're trying to get your emotions in check. Because I think that's part of the problem. Like, that, that you feel is hindering you. I see you kind of checking yourself here. That Aquarius energy, that star energy. What is the influence here for Virgos? Two of Pentacles. This is your family regardless of what's happened between the two of you. This is a very committed relationship. It's something that you feel like is worth saving. You've invested a lot of time and energy in this situation. And I feel like you're just not wanting to give up on it. I see you kind of checking yourself. I see the other person kind of checking themselves too. Whether or not they've let you know that. Okay. Hopes or fears for Virgo. Eight of Swords. That you guys cannot release the past. You can't let go of things. That is your fear. Your fear is that, you know, things will constantly be brought up. You'll constantly be thinking about things and so will the other person. That you will not be able to release and let go of that negative energy between the two of you. That's Gemini energy there. Hopes or fears for Virgo. Okay, let me see what that is. Oh, Six of Cups. Look at that. You have all the makings of a great relationship. The only thing that I see <clears throat> that is lacking here is some feminine energy. Okay. It's like you two are knuckleheads. <laughs> but I, I see you guys being together because you're family. You really are. Look at this. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the Star, and the Six of Cups. This is somebody that is not just your partner or not just your intimate partner, but this person feels like family to you and they are family to you. This is somebody, and you have the Wheel of Fortune, I forgot that one, but you know, this is indicative of um, a relationship that's supposed to last this lifetime, right? So that's what I see here, and that's Scorpio energy there. So that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.